Will you make a video on being lukewarm? Okay, sure. <laughs> so first off, there's a lot of misconception on what this actually means. This has nothing to do with being double-minded. That's a whole separate passage. Double-minded in all your ways comes from that passage there. Um, and that's like when you're partly worldly but partly believing. That's not what lukewarm, um, that's not where that comes from. The term lukewarm actually comes from the book of Revelation, this passage here. Okay, And in it, um, they are being, this, this church is being rebuked by Jesus himself, saying, I have this against you, uh, and, you know, that you're neither hot nor cold. And he actually even says, I would rather you be either hot or cold. Like, so here, cold, is, first off, cold is not a bad thing, because Jesus, Jesus would not want us to be a bad thing. He's saying being in the middle is a bad thing. So what's the difference here? So think of it this way. There are certain denominations that are very um, rigid, but not in a bad way. Like Baptists are very rigid on Bible only and let's keep everything good and in decent order. They're very structured. I would say that's pretty cool, calm, and collected, huh? Okay, think of it that way. Then there are some that are very fiery, like Pentecostals, very exuberant in their worship and in their passion, okay? If you're lukewarm, you're somewhere in the middle. And here in this passage, Jesus says, you're neither hot nor cold, you're neither passionate nor rigid. You're, you're, you're just kind of floating there useless because you don't have any passion, but you don't have any structure. So you're just kind of blah, and I want to vomit you out of my mouth. That's literally what the passage says. So this is what lukewarm means. It means get some structure in your life. Have some passion in your life. But don't just sit there blah doing nothing. <laughs>